The town of Putney is working to get its fire department up and running again. The select board temporarily suspended the operations of the department last month. Fox 44's Mike Hoey joins us live in the studio with a look at what's happening now. Well, Lauren Brattleboro, Dummerston and Westminster are covering fire calls in Putney at the moment. EMTs, meanwhile, are working through an area ambulance service, Rescue Inc. Last month, Interim Chief Evan Martin and 12 volunteers for the Putney Fire Department quit effective immediately. In a letter published by the Brattleboro Reformer, they wrote in part, quote, Poor decisions by town government undermined the members' ability to fulfill their core responsibility to provide emergency services. Now, back in January, a public safety consulting firm in the state of Wyoming performed an operations analysis of the department. Among more than 50 suggestions in their report, the consultants recommended a forensic audit of the town's financial practices. The document shows the department needs to be more fiscally accountable. Quote, the fire chief and the PFD act independently of town administration and without regard to town policies. A select board member says he discovered through his own research certain checks made out to the department over a period of seven years never appeared in the town's receipts. The Firefighters Association and the fire department used the same post office box. Uh, the Firefighters Association has been deciding which checks to turn over to the town and which checks to put into their account. The Putney Firefighters Association is a registered nonprofit. On Facebook, it says its mission is, quote, to promote the general welfare of the members of the Putney Fire Department and to participate in outreach events. We don't have a functional fire department. We don't have good EMS for people that are medically vulnerable in our community. And you want to focus on the budget of the Firefighters Association. Select Board Chair Eileen Shute believes the lines separating the Fire Department and the Firefighters Association seem to be blurry. My personal recommendation is that we sit down at some point and craft a memora memorandum of understanding with the fire, uh, Firefighters Association to clarify those lines. Meanwhile, Lauren, the select board voted tonight to form a fire and rescue advisory committee with the town manager and interim fire chief Brian Harlow as non-voting members. There's also a plan to help get the fire department back on its feet. It'll likely be ready by the end of this month. Live in the studio tonight, Mike Coey, ABC 22 News. Mike, a 12-year-old was seriously hurt after they were